Well, hello, everybody. I hope you hear and see me well. It's time again to, to start um, getting more knowledge about the technology, about the 21st century technology, which is called Skyway as you, it must go through sky by the name and yes as you can see also behind me there is our unicar which is up high about 50 meters there so yes we can go up high as uh, as much as 100 meters with the technology but this all these details about uh, about the thorough information and about um, well the details uh, which are very important for you, for potential investors, for already, uh, for people who are already investors, as well as our partners, active partners, and all the members, all the Skyward community members around the world, to to understand uh, the, the technology more and better, and and get more comfortable with it, and then maybe more um, like. Um, mm, more in touch with it so you can present it self to other people also um, well as well as as the partners are doing so that's why i'm here to to tell you about uh, about the insights of, of this technology what we have achieved already and what's uh, coming soon um, and then what are the benefits uh, for us to know this information all right so Let's move on about myself a bit. My name is Mike. I'm from Estonia and I've been an investor of Skyway Technology for about uh, four years by now. Time has flown by so fast. It's, it's uh, just amazing how fast time goes and, and what we have achieved so far. Also, really, really great to be in this team and then to present this information to you because I sincerely believe that we are going to see Skyway around the world in the future. Of course, it all takes time, but when, well, after the presentation, when you have seen what we have achieved so far, then I believe you are on the same level as me and will, well, the awareness levels raise and then, uh, mm, yes, so, the knowledge will will start making its magic but um about myself a little bit more maybe just for brief instant uh, to tell you how or, or why i know that this information so well so about four years ago when i first hear, heard about uh, uh, about knowledge itself of course i didn't rush into investing at the same moment but i took about one month to decide and one month I will look through all the documents, all the information that was possible to have, all the videos, the, the future insights and so on. And I'm glad that I did it because I was much more secure at uh, that time to invest and therefore I invested them, the amount, uh, what I invested, the sum was much larger than to do so therefore it's it's, it's great but uh, well uh, we have well skyway has two demonstration and certification centers today first one is in belarus near minsk where we have our echo techno park and i have been there myself as well and i have seen and i have driven with the mobiles myself with the unicar and with the unibus so it's amazing and I, I will show you one picture later as well. And the second certification and demonstration certain we have is located in the United Arab Emirates uh, in Sacha Emirate, which is well next to Dubai. So about 50 kilometers from Dubai or maybe a little bit less. And I have been there also twice. And, and it's just brilliant to see that the, the interest among the investors, among the governments is rising and has been, at first there might have been some kind of 
trouble understanding how this technology is different than from, for example, monorail or, or other technologies and everybody said, prove us. But how do you prove if you, well, of course, if you don't have money or, or if you have just idea, then then uh, without government support and without, uh, well, overall support, it's very difficult to, difficult to prove something just to show, well, pictures or, or skis or something that doesn't mean basically anything, but then Dr. Anatoly Onitsky, who is the creator of, of the technology, started to, well, patent everything he owes, uh, knows, has, has done. So his intellectual property that was patented and then they started to, well, mm, uh, take investments and they would give the company gives um, for investments shares other company shares yes so and then as as I, as I can see my so I hope now you hear me better because I see my internet uh, somehow wants to reload all the time and um, not my internet but the um, web page Miropolis wants to reload and I believe some information will get lost so I will turn off my video at the moment and and just speak yes when when we started to collect basically money from investment uh, as investments and then the, the company started to give investors um, for their investments valuable mother company shares so wherever in the world our technology will be built uh, the investors well the profits which are made from from the um, projects certain amount of, uh, certain percent of those profits will be divided among all the investors around the world all right so without any further introduction let's move on so this is Skyway, as you can see on the on the slide as well. It looks very beautiful. It's very neat. It's sharp. Uh, it doesn't have these massive um, supports supports which hold the track structures above and use basically multiple um, dimensions. So we can be as you can see here on the slide. Um, well, hanging mode. We will be hanging on the on the rails, but then we have another type of rail which can use both sides of the rail, so we can be on top of the rail right there or below in the hanging position, as you can see here. So that's why it's it's really great. But right, let's see some some of the news. Uh, what has uh, in the near future? What has been done? And here you can see this is the track number two. Yes, a little bit about the tracks in Belarus. We have about seven different tracks, track structures, and uh, seven different model models as well, and already certified. So we have achieved a lot there. And uh, Belarus is like a window to eastern countries, so like Russia, Kazakhstan, or all those countries. Then in United Arab Emirates, on the slide as well, that's uh, made in United Arab Emirates in Sarcha. There we have at the moment one full link track, which is 400 meters long. And that's certified as well as Tropical Unicar on it is certified already. So we have one move there as well, which is certified. And now there will be three more track structures uh plan to build uh, number two track number two and track number four is already in place almost ready and uh and and there th those two tracks will be two and about two and a half kilometers I, well actually it's 2.4 kilometers long so that's 2400 meters long so there we can achieve much higher speeds as well as we can uh, start certifying new absolutely new uh, models one model is unicont which is basically meant for sea containers so we can start well transporting sea containers uh, on the track structure which will be revolutionary as many scientists and, and economists have, have said 
but more about that I will tell you later. And here you can see the container, uh, well, the, the depot, container depot basically is still under process on the left side. And that's meant for, well, if you think about, for example, metro stations or the subways, Skyway can, well, start changing that sector as well. Well, basically Skyway can be used as a subway. So, but whenever there is a rush hour, well, we have a depot station there where people usually don't go or normally but there will be well the empty models which will be charging or which will be under maintenance or just staying there until there is a rush hour on the tracture and then when it's needed more uh, models will come from the depot and start serving people so therefore we can challenge the very well the situation which is around the world globally during the rush hours for hundreds or thousands of people want to get bored at the same time and they have to wait for a long time to get on board then it's very tight there inside uh, inside um, trains or trolley buses and uh, and uh, drives also take quite a long time but again in details i will tell you shortly so this is what it looks like in the near future and as i mentioned you we can use both sides we can use the upper sides and the side down below so if we compare our container transportation system unicont with for example well other transportation systems which uh, which see containers from one place to another then well what uh, what are there there are basically ships cargo ships then there are trains and trucks and all those transportations which i mentioned you those three except sorry, those average speed is about uh, 15 to 20 sometimes 25 kilometers per hour so that's very very slow and that's because well ships don't go much faster trains as well maybe a little bit but the trucks, for example, there are traffic jams, then uh, mandatory resting stops and so on. So, so the average speed is quite, quite low. But with Skyway, we have an average speed of about 15, uh, about 150 kilometers per hour. I mean, that's the maximum average speed depends on how many stations we have on the way, but about 100 more kilometers per hour it should be. So it's about five times uh, uh, faster than the other um, possible solutions and what more we can use both sides so it's five times faster and two times more efficient because we can use the both sides and of course well because we are located on the second level and not only with the sea containers but with the well the the uni buses or the uni cars which take people or passengers from one place to another those are also located on second level so we do not collide in any way with the first level infrastructure like cars tramways trolley scooters pedestrians and so on we do not collide with them so therefore we are much more safer 95 best percent safer is our transportation when we compare it taking well making new transportation and taking on the same first level infrastructure because that's so full already so therefore it's it's well one of the most reasonable solutions to solve these new challenges inside the cities and then with with the growing population is to go to the second level and one uh, slide describes it also very well and then I, I will talk about it a little bit more but yes this is how it looks like it's just very very beautiful yeah and now uh, the track number four in such uh, and i will show you the um, tracks are installed some pictures here as i mentioned it's always in progress and despite the coronavirus despite the economics right now uh, globally the work constantly continues in both in Sarcha and in belarus so there is no need to be well hmm, in fear that something might happen or has anything happened if you haven't heard recently 
any news, then know that everything goes according to the plan. Of course, the plan has gone a little bit longer because at first we didn't expect to go to United Arab Emirates, but that's a very important step because the United Arab Emirates is as a well, works as a window to tropical climates like India, Indonesia, Vietnam, and so on. So if you get certifications and then everything perfect, well done there, then it shouldn't be a problem to, to start con building tracks around the world. Yes, so therefore it's very, very great. As you can see here, the work goes on. Here as well. Yeah, and now some more recent news are that the, the work on the container depot has completed. As you can see, the main, main parts are already there are some uh, facade um, corrugations and and um, and so on, but but mostly it's it's getting ready. And we have begun certification of the four task test track as well, which is amazing. So as I mentioned, first we have to certificate the uh, make a certification process for the tracks, then the models, then we can start uh, testing with people as well. Therefore, it is, it is awesome. All right. Now, let's get to the second part. And here it is, this, the picture. This is the picture I was telling you before. Mm, when I talk about the, the, the re reasons why we should go to the second level. So here it is. This picture was basically made 100 years ago and should describe place, so present, future, and uh, or the present moment. I mean, and basically what this describes is that we have already perfect first level infrastructure. We have all these tramways, trolley buses, uh, cars, taxis, electric cars, scooters, bikes, and so on. We have this all covered. It, it's full. Then we have, in developed countries at least, we have these underground uh, transportation systems, these networks. But because more and more people start to come to, in, inside the cities, to live inside the cities, then raise a family, their family will start raising another one. And therefore, the population grows and new challenges come up. And to solve those challenges, what I see myself personally is that the only way to solve those problems is to go second level. Yeah, here it is. Uh, we have tried it. Humankind has tried it already mm, and, and uh, made some technologies on the right side, for example, that's monorail. That's maybe one of the similar ones because it has this support. It's on the second level. It rides on itself track. The track does not move, but the mobile on there, the monorail moves on the track and so on. But take a look how massive this all is. Here it is, another example of monorail. Just take a look at the supports. Those are very, very massive uh, concrete blocks, basically underneath to hold the track structure above because it's it weighs very much and I have even one well description here on comparison between UST and Unitsky string technology that means Skyway and monorail first of all the track length is limited with monorail as you can see up to 50 kilometers but with Skyway I know that Dr. Antonio Unitsky has also told before that he he wants to build Transnet, which is basically a network of transportation, well, Skyway transportation system, so that that would be tens of thousands of kilometers all around the world, which are all connected to each other. So that's all possible with Skyway. Then maximum speeds, as I mentioned, uh, well, maybe I didn't mention even, but inside a city, we have our unicars, unibuses can go up to 150 kilometers per hour, which is more than enough inside cities. There are many stops on the way, and therefore we we cannot accelerate that uh, to to that to, to the uh, speeds. Uh, but uh, but the possibility is and is existing. Then we have. Um, 
entry. So between city transportation system, which is our high speed system that can go up to 100, uh, sorry, up, up to 500 kilometers per hour. But yes, so oh, the speeds are great. Then another really important thing to understand is that we do not have any driver on board at the same time. So it's all autonomous. It's self-driving, basically it's a self-driving electrical car with steel wheels and uh, will be monitored, of course, constantly. It has its own 360 degrees cameras, uh, interior cameras. So we, we collect the data from, from the surrounding all the time. If there should be any obstacle on the way, the mobile automatically stops and then so on. Yes, and then now let's go to the next point, the traffic interval and traffic capacity. Those are those points are very tightly connected to each other. And I will tell you why. So now let's take, uh, well, let's rem remind us the flight, which I showed you before about the depot station where they constructed. So now the traffic interval basically um, means that after each 50 seconds, it's possible for another Unibus to exit from the station, then 20 seconds, another one exits from the station. So basically what we have to think or calculate is the time that people need to get on board and off. That's the only time uh, which matters the most and which makes it, if it's even, if it's 20 or it's 50 seconds or a bit there. Of course, it depends on how, how big is the, well, it, it does it uh, suit uh, for, for, for example, is Unicar suitable for four people, 15 people, 100 people? That's that all, well, we have to just bear in mind that uh, it depends, the time, the traffic depends on that one as well. And therefore, the traffic capacity, because we have, we don't need to wait 20 or 15 or 10 minutes for another. Mm, model to come to the station and pick us up but it's because it's every 20 to 15 seconds we can take about half million passengers per day on a, on a specific route so so that's also about four to five times more than with monorail and even more than with subways so that's just amazing here it is one uh, fourth subway And this one here is basically a Wuppenthal. It's called Wuppenthal. It's located in Germany. Again, just take a look at how closely the supports located to each other. So it could hold the track structure above. But it's not very popular. I think it's only possible to see this one in Wuppenthal. Also very expensive. It's very heavy and quite slow. This one is basically like a tramway by its technological parts, but it's just upside down and possible to find in China. Now, this one is, yeah, this one is basically a cable car. It's a cable car. It's one of the most popular second level transportation systems which is installed around the world well it's not installed like so rapidly but it's possible to find it in russia for example i i myself have seen it in vietnam on Fukuoka island then in uh, in uh, turkey i saw it and in romania as well but what's the main idea? Well, the technological idea here with this technology, as you can, well, just take a look at the orange wheel, right side, on the right, on the, on the right side. So basically that orange wheel spins and therefore the cable uh, moves, but those cars which are uh, on the cable, those do not move themselves. So basically the cable moves, the cars stay stiff, they're like sued to the cable and therefore uh, the movement uh, starts or takes place but the average speed is about 15 20 kilometers it's, it's very quite slow and if anything happens we 
the engine on one end, then uh, the whole uh, whole system will be will be stopped. Yes, here it is. Just take a look at how beautiful it is. How slim the track structure is. This uh, this specific track structure is my favorite as well because it's. Well, when I was there, I have been there myself. I have seen this same, same uh, well picture live. What you see at the moment on the slide, and basically, if you are about a few hundred meters from the track structures, it's it's possible to see or. or Will separate the track structure if it's up high there. Just we can see and witness the mo mobiles or the or the unicars uh, driving there, and then we'll see. Oh, it's track structure, yes. But anyhow, this is the unicar. It's it's very beautiful, and as you can see here in front and in the end, there are these specific elements which will attach with each other 100%. So whenever something happens for example battery dies or something happens with the motor wheel because every uh, each model has its own motor wheels as well but if anything happens with one of the motor wheels then uh, we have another sim mobile which will exit at the station for example a few minutes later then it arrives it can attach with the broken one and either pull or lift it to the maintenance to the depot so yeah welcome to the new age this is perfectly well said because this is 21st century fully electrical fully autonomous um, smart um, smartly integrated and looking very full transportation system so yeah because most of the trains tramways and the buses and all those are back 19th century and even even older but uh, there are seven reasons mostly which i have brought you up why skyway is the technology which has come here to stay we will see just few of the reasons today and uh, depending on where we will end our presentation today we will continue exactly in few weeks in two weeks to be um, exact then uh, and then we will continue with all these points which i couldn't tell you today but first point is of course it's innovative as you can see already by it looks it's it looks very beautiful it is well glamorous in uh, uh, united arab emirates it can be golden supports can be made out of gold <laughs> if possible or covered with gold at least but yeah it, it, it is absolutely amazing through innovation and where the innovation also lies is that it has its own motor wheels which are patented as well as the derailment system and i know that uh, basically what is uh, covered here with this slide siemens company wanted to buy the patent techn technological bars for this one but of course they couldn't um, make unitsky sell this patent but yeah, here it is, one another sample. So this is a uh, different track structure from, from the previous one, from uh, the one which, um, well, which is my favorite one. But here you can see, yeah, we can use both sides basically below, as you can, uh, as on the slide as well, this Unibus is uh, hanging basically. This one can be, for example, the, the road with many stops on the way. And above there can be the express line, which will, basically go up to 500 kilometers per hour and from one point to another point which is well for example 200 300 kilometers uh, further it can go there with uh, no stops yeah so that's that's great then uh, what's inside the rails inside the previous one uh, slide rails is clear pre-stressed strings so this technology itself is actually called pre-stressed uh, string technology transportation technology so there are this bunch of uh, pre-stressed strings and it works as a bridge therefore it does not need um, so many supports for example the my favorite um, track structure which i showed which was very thin and that one can have 
supports after each kilometer or two kilometers, depending on how high the structure will be lifted. The higher, the, the, the further is the distance between two supports as well. But yes, so anyhow, this bunch of strings is filled uh, also, or the metal frame is, uh, the body frame is filled with special filler. There can be even uh, taken tubes um, through the track structure, for example, for like electricity cables or for internet or ethernet cables and so on. So communication can be also taken to the transportation system. And yes, here it is, the picture I made uh, on the spot. So it, it looks very beautiful. And, uh, and uh, whenever this EcoFest event will start um, well, happening again, I truly recommend you all to come there. If you're an investor and you want to see with this all with your own eyes, feel it, take a ride with it and so on. It, it, it feels really amazing. And, and that unicar there up high, about 0 to 50 meters, I also got the chance to try with it, and I can say that as, as a relation was very smooth and, and everything was basically perfect. And it was uh, about three years ago to think. So what, what, what it is today, of course, it's much more, much quieter and smoother and, and, and well, it's just brilliant. But all right, we will end our presentation here. The second point is where we start next time uh, after the introduction, of course. So I hope you got uh, quite many inf in information or the, or the data to, to make decisions or to tell about it to your investors or your, or your team members. Yes, so even the Lai Lama has gave us blessing, gave Anatolia Nix, Dr. Anatolia Nitsky his blessing and said that the world really needs your technology, but the path you have taken is very, very hard and you have to get through many different obstacles as we can, as we have witnessed also during these years. But eventually everything will turn out amazing and you will succeed and the world also therefore will get much better. But all right, 22nd December, two days before Christmas, is our this year's last English webinar about uh, the technolo technology itself and the latest news as well. So, see you already in, in two weeks. And, uh, and I hope you are all there at that time and then we can have another great webinar. So thank you all for coming and good evening and have a fantastic end of the week. Goodbye.